Hi there YouTube world! I'm very excited to share some new content with you. I wanted to provide content that was available for musicians of all levels uh, and not just specifically French horn but obviously since that's the instrument that I play I'm going to do my best to explain a more broad perspective to help you understand individual instrumentalists whether they're in the woodwind family or the brass family. So in this video I will be demonstrating something really incredible. Um, there's a woman, her name is Julie Landsman, and she was the principal of the Metropolitan Opera for many, many years. And she has this incredible method called the Caruso method on YouTube. You can find it by searching. I will include the link at the bottom of this uh, video. But she basically breaks, talks about this incredible buzzing exercise. And a lot of people that play a brass instrument typically know about buzzing. Many of you as beginners don't know how, don't like it because you don't know how, but I'm telling you right now, when you learn how to, how to buzz properly, it will change your world as a musician. And I believe this goes uh, similarly to trumpet or trombone players. I highly advise you have private lessons before you either watch this video and you definitely need to watch the Julie Landsman um, specific uh, lips to horn Lips to, you definitely to need to watch to horn. Uh, Julie Landsman's Caruso method, specifically the lips mouthpiece to horn buzzes. She talks so specifically, but you really have to make sure that you are air attacking your notes first without your tongue, and then you will also have articulated notes and you will have slurred notes. So you really have to make sure it's, it's incredible because you're literally using every aspect of playing in these in these buzz warm-ups. Um, so yes, of course, they're challenging, but hopefully my breaking them down for you will really help and you will get a lot of value out of it. Please do me a favor when you watch this video and I have a big goal in our industry right now, especially with what's going on. Uh, I've been quite busy here creating content and deciding what I wanted to provide the world in the music industry. And we really need to, to be valued and appreciated and paid and compensated as professional musicians should be paid. And I have been in far too many situations where people have underpaid me. And I don't want to say that I regret any opportunity that has come my way because it's always led me to something else more exciting. I've always learned something from it. I don't necessarily recommend it for a highly trained professional musician. I might be a unique case. Um, but what you can do to help is a couple of things. And this is really the first time I've ever asked for this. So I would greatly appreciate you, you subscribing to my channel, liking this video and all of my videos. And if you have time, uh, the, the purpose of this, this channel is really to entertain you and to educate you and to give you a better insight into the music industry. I have added a contribution part of my page. So you could essentially go to any of my videos pick the one you like the best. And if you, even if you want to contribute a dollar, 50 cents, I think all of it will go a long way. Once I, I have a decent amount developed for each particular video that you like, that money will definitely be compensated to the musicians who performed in that video. So it's like the world doing little small performances for you. And if you appreciate it, if you like it, if you get something from it, if it brings joy to your life, if you learn something, then a little bit goes a long way. So those are the few things that you could do other than smile, take care of your body, your health, try and eat a healthy, balanced meals every day and a little bit of exercise. Uh, and I think that you'll be golden. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I, I again, I hope you you find a lot of value in what you're about to see. Feel free to comment below any content you might want to watch or see something that you're curious about, you don't know, you think might be a good message worth spreading. Uh, I'm all ears. However, I do have lots of content I will be bringing you. So I may not get to it right away, but it helps. And we're building a community here. So we're all in this together. Uh, I wanted to break down the Julie Landsman buzz a little bit because when you're teaching it to students that aren't maybe professional, you, you kind of have to break it down. You can't just watch the YouTube video and um, there's a lot of secrets and a lot of training that obviously go into the natural kind of almost look and feel of, of the preciseness of what is happening. And so to break it down, like a vocalist, we have three 
I mean, not like a vocalist, but we play our instrument as a vocalist would. We're just an extension, and the instrument is an extension of our voice. So we've got three pieces that are really important, which is our lips, uh, which are the creation of the vibration of the sound, just as you would have uh, an instrument, like a clarinet or an oboe or a bassoon. Oboes and bassoons oftentimes even go as far as making their own reeds out of string and, and shavings and whatnot. But those two pieces, the mouthpiece, which is the plastic or the, the wooden made piece that also has a wooden reed that is either handmade or purchased, that those are two put together and there's a ligature that is connected around. And when you blow air into that instrument, those two pieces vibrate oh, and it creates a sound, which is exactly, oh my hair, exactly what happens with our instrument, except for we are those two pieces, our top and bottom lip. And with French horn playing, there's the complexity of two thirds top lip, one third bottom lip. And a lot of people I notice so far that I've taught this buzz to can misunderstand the natural feeling of, of all of it really by the complexity of the instrument. And the natural feeling is that these two pieces, when you blow just natural air, it's like a perfect embouchure right there. Um, then when you're going to play, there's this guy on YouTube that has a lesson of the beginning horn lesson, and it's pizza, that apparently that's a good embouchure. P -p -p okay, I, I can understand that too. You have the two lips here, they vibrate air. When you tighten the rest of everything else, which these are all muscles that you develop over time, just like bicep muscles. Okay, they're not that looking that big right now. <laughs> but just like that. So you have your air, which comes from your diaphragm and your lungs. That wasn't as natural as I normally am able to make it. If I add in a, um, a metronome on this great app that I use, which is called Practice Center, and it's amazing. It costs not that much money. I think the guy's a genius that made it. It has a metronome with all kinds of different tempos. You can have um, triplet 16th notes that has drum loops. So if you're practicing a samba rhythm or a jazz rhythm, it really helps you get into the groove or the feel, keeps you precise with your time. That's great and also has drone pitches. So I'm gonna turn on the metronome at 60 beats per minute and then put tuning drones on. So I'm gonna start with a concert C, which is our G as French horn players. And that will be on, you won't be able to hear me so I won't talk but I will teach you the buzzing mechanism of the natural feel and hopefully you understand that these two pieces is our control of what a woodwind doesn't just blows air, but we actually have to make that buzz by really making this firm. The ligature is what holds together the clarinet oboe or bassoon reed and, and a mouthpiece. Our lips is what hold together, so this is our ligature. I, I mean, on on some analogy, <laughs> on some planet. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this is helpful by watching and hearing, and hopefully you'll do it with me. top of that is this is just a warm-up and if you're expecting perfection from the beginning you know you don't get that it's very challenging I've obviously done it <clears throat> but it's very even if you just connect all the dots so you have the air automatically if you use your lungs and your diaphragm and when you breathe it doesn't all come <clears throat> from here and you heard immediately what tensed up when I did that the French horn you cannot do that um, you really have to go for it but also be conscious and aware of what's coming out. You have to be able to train your ear to understand this beast of a beautiful, beautiful instrument. Uh.
boy. Good boy. You sing so well. Good baby. Good baby. Good baby.